I'm here with Derringer Products and we're uh, going to go ahead and give you some information on the, the new Guitar Bullet PMA-10. We did an unboxing of it the other day and I want to do uh, to show you now the actual unit itself. As you can see here, this is the Guitar Bullet. Um, on the top, you have a back row of effects which consists of gain boost, delay, and repeat, all of which are bypassable. You can just you just click them on and off. And they'll and we'll go ahead and turn it on here just so you can see it. So as you can see, it turns on and off. And all of these are the effects here. So we can turn that off, turn on that one, the gain, the boost turn them all on at the same time. On the uh, the delay and the repeats, they're independently bypassable, so when you turn on the delay, it turns both delay and repeat on, but you can turn off just the repeat. As you can see, that is off now. You can turn it on. That way you, you can preset a, uh, a repeat and still use the delay in this position it gives you a single repeat and then this gives you what you set. You can see those are all turned off. Then we also have a clipping stage which when you turn that on that adds an additional clipping stage. It's called a cut switch and it'll it kind of uh, smooths out the top end brings out some more tone when you're at high volume it works beautiful. Um, we also have your tone control here and the tone control has what they call scoop so if you're playing you want some more of those mids and highs to come out you just click that on and it pulls out those uh, additional uh, tone that you've been missing depending on where you're set on it you can if you set it all the way on the bass or over to treble you still pick up a lot more highs and, and mids out of it um, there's also a, a dim switch for the LEDs because uh, you decided if you're on stage, if you want to, uh, you know, dim the lights a little bit, you can turn that down. It also can serve some battery. There's a battery level indicator, which shows you your battery level. In this case, you can see there's a red LED, two yellow, and there's one green LED on. So this battery is sitting somewhere around 75 percent right now and if you turn off the unit you can see it takes a little bit of a load off the battery so you got an extra LED kind of showing so you can always check your battery level regardless of when you're playing if you're playing or not you can always push the switch and check to see how you're doing with your batteries batteries usually last between uh, 20 to 22 hours depending on your playing and how, and how much uh, you're using on all the effects Okay, and then uh, just on the front here, with the unit on, there's a uh, stereo switch. In this position, when the stereo's off, of course you're in mono, so this would be playing using as a preamp going into a mono amplifier. If you wanted to play into a stereo amp, you flip that switch on. You now can play direct into a computer. You can play through headphones. You can play into a stereo input on a home stereo system, or you can use it for uh, direct recording into your computer. Um, this unit is designed to where you can plug directly into your a uh, sound card and record and use all your effects as needed. On the bottom there's your battery drawer and as you can see you have your guitar input, auxiliary input for an MP3 there's a external power supply input. You can range any power supply from 9 to 20 volts will run the unit with a negative center. You have two outputs, a 3.5 millimeter output and a 1 quarter inch output for uh, playing to your amplifier or to headphones of any size. The battery drawer is, is locked in and you can pop that out with just a guitar pick or a coin 
and basically what that does is that opens the drawer and you can have easy access to changing your batteries when you're done you just simply lock it back in and it's ready to go on the back there's a a security clip which is designed to clip onto your guitar strap or on your belt buckle or belt not belt buckle but belt and that way it won't slip off as you can see it has a security clip on it this uh, allows you to keep the guitar bowler right next to you on your guitar and gives you access to all the controls just right on the fly um, if you're playing on a stage and you want to adjust something your volume's not high enough you're, you want a little more delay you want a little more gain you want to kick the boost on rather than uh, going for the floor you just you just literally come over and just tap one of the switches on or off or adjust the knob so it makes it very easy to play it becomes an extension of your guitar so what we're going to do here is we're going to demo the unit and go through different sounds that we can do with it we'll go ahead and turn it off now when, one of the things that it comes with is comes with a uh, a coil cord so you plug your coil cord into the guitar input and you plug your your coil cord into your guitar you then take your amplifier and you plug that in to the quarter inch output and then you can clip this on to your guitar strap doing right here okay so letting you see this right here and what we're going to do next is we're going to um, turn it on and get you guys uh, hear something well actually let's start with what our dry sound is so we're playing through an amplifier. It's uh, got two tens. It's a little Marshall. Um, I want to demonstrate this on a kind of a lower end amplifier to give you an idea of what you can get as far as sound out of it. So this is the uh, the dry sound. When the unit's turned off like this, it's in true bypass. And what that means is that uh, your unit is playing directly through to the amp and it's as if the unit is not even there. Again on the uh, the ampire side. So now we'll go ahead and turn the unit on. As you can see, I have the LEDs dimmed. You can turn them up and down, and its stereo is off, and all of the effects are turned off right now, and everything's set at around 12 o'clock. set the tone more for bass has again is the scoop so we're going to demonstrate what the scoop does um, let's go with it at around nine o'clock 
an idea of how the scoop works. You want to set it, say, at around 12 o'clock. Turn on the scoop. On. Off. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look now at uh, the. We'll go. We'll go back to the gain at in a little bit here. We'll go to the boost, and we'll see how that sounds here. Boost is set at around 12 o'clock. It's in bypass right now, so turn on the boost. scoop on for right now and we'll uh, I'll go ahead and turn that off and we'll take a listen to the uh, the delay now when you turn on the delay I've got the uh, delay on but the repeats turned off and if you listen to that you see what I'm saying <laughs> turn on the boost with the delay on and we'll turn off the repeats boost is set for around 12 o'clock right now As you can see uh, everything's pretty close to that and then we'll turn on the repeats
the scoop. Turn the scoop on, set the tone at about 12 o'clock. settings just uh, for overall is around 12 o'clock for both the level input level and the uh, the master it all depends on what you're playing and how you how you want it to sound of course so we'll go ahead and start uh, we'll turn off the boost I mean excuse me the scoop and we'll go ahead and turn on the uh, the gain which is in bypass right now I'm going to turn it all the way down and we'll turn it on See, I just turn on the gain. So turn that up to about nine o'clock. So now we'll uh, we'll play a little bit around with the 
tone with the gain set at 12 o'clock. Or bass. the gain, I'm sorry, the tone at around 12 o'clock. Turn the tone up, get more highs out of it around 3 o'clock. on all the way. Now on the boost. 
Coast.